Welcome to another episode of Locker Room Raw. We got Christian, Junior. we got Mike, got Bruno long distance. We got a full house. And the reason we got a full house, it's playoff time. I actually want to mention something. So um, last night, uh, Joel Embiid scored 70 points. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that because it doesn't matter what Joel Embiid does in the regular season anymore. He's won an MVP. He can obviously score against anyone. He can put up a lot of points. His playoff resume is basura. Bro, 70 piece, bro. We Garbage. Had a, we had a lot of big stat sheets uh, yesterday. So, so look, this sounds disrespectful as I'm saying it, but yes. I'm showing him the respect he deserves by saying, you're too, you've done too much now for me to care about what you do in a regular season. I need to see it in the playoffs. When you do it in the playoffs, I'll go back to re respecting your regular season. Until then, it's just empty calories. Bro, there's like somebody saying nothing personal after you shit. No, nah, it's empty calories. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of the empty calories. It's like Carrington Towns Spe put 62 and lose. And lose speak, speaking of, game, speaking of to empty calories, this bozo Carlinthe Towns <laughs> scored 62 points on the same night. He has to be the first player in NBA history to have 62 points and get benched in the same game. Only Because he got, cause, cause he got quarter. benched. Go read the quotes by his coach who said that the team yeah. was playing like idiots. They were playing selfish because instead of trying to win the game, they were trying to get him a record. That being said, we're here to talk about football. We're not <laughs> here to talk about that nonsense. All right, so that, with that out of the way, what we're going to do is talk about the four quarterbacks remaining in the playoffs. All right, you got the Ravens, you got the 49ers, you got the Lions, you got the Chiefs. Right, so we know who those quarterbacks are. So I'm going to go from worst to first. If I left that up to you guys, that order would be <laughs> completely different per person. Should be unanimous, though. Right. <laughs> so, starting with... We have Christian. We have be. Christian. Yeah, should we have be. Christian. Right. Should God be. damn it. He never plays fair. <laughs> Whether this is going to piss some people off, I'm sure. Of course. We're going to start off with the worst quarterback of the bunch being Brock Purdy. Definitely. Uh, now, that's not saying Brock Purdy is a bad quarterback. He's just the worst of this group of four quarterbacks. Some people might say Jared Goff. Those people are a little confused. Because if you actually watch the games, you'll know that Purdy cannot make the same kind of throws that Jared Goff can, yep. that Mahomes can. I wouldn't go as far to say Lamar can, but Lamar is just a better all-around quarterback, just a better all-around football player. So yay, yay. we'll leave it there. Uh, Brock Purdy <laughs> um, has the least amount to do. If Brock Purdy loses, the vultures are circling. I don't know if you guys heard Ryan Clark. Uh, Ryan Clark said the other day, I'm sick and tired of pretending that, you know, Purdy's on the same level as Mahomes and Josh Allen and these other guys. And I wouldn't take it that far because, first of all, I don't even know why you would pretend that he's on that, exactly. that, he's yeah. on that level. He's clearly not. But he wins. So if, if Ryan Clark wants to say he has, he's had to pretend, who forced you to pretend? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you just did that because you wanted to do that. He says a lot of things, though. But he just likes to grab headlines, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I don't even take I don't even take things like that seriously. Uh, I'm gonna kick it over to Christian because uh, we're gonna try and keep this uh, this conversation moving. Fluid. But I just feel like Brock Purdy really, all he has to do is not make mistakes, and he'll be fine. He makes any kind of mistakes, he's gonna have a, a media storm like nothing he's ever been prepared for in his life because, again, he's never been a star. He wasn't a star in college. Dude, but he's playing with house money, though. I mean... Again, that's... Christian, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> Please give me your opinion on Brock Purdy. Um, well, no, honestly, I can't defer anything from what you said. I mean, I think Brock Purdy has been saved by his receivers and obviously because of McCaffrey. Um, actually, on the game with the Packers, the Packers literally dropped two easy interceptions that he threw. He he doesn't look confident in the pocket. He doesn't look comfortable. He missed like three throws to the running back, wide open, really bad throws. So yeah, definitely he's being bailed by the team. I don't think he's good at all. And honestly, I don't think he's gonna go through the through the Lions. That's a bit, that's a bit terrific. Like, can I play devil's advocate for a second? Go ahead. It's your time, go ahead. What does he has to do? Like, I will, I will agree with you guys that he's the fourth best. Right. Uh, I mean, right we'll now. answer that at the end. So just say what your yeah. opinion of him but, is, yeah. and then we'll. Yeah. He out, out of out of the four survivors, he's the fourth, right? Yeah, for sure. That's a non-discussion for me. However, like, if he was a second-round pick, mm -hmm. the critics won't, wouldn't be the same. Like, what does he has to do? Because at first is well, he has all the Avengers. Well, he cannot come from behind. 
well, if he plays poorly, the team bails him out. Now, he... Uh, so, the critic said, well, when is he going to give me a game-winning drive? He just did in the playoffs. But now as, now the, the, the narrative is, well, he played three bot quarters. Well, if he played three great quarters, he, he's never going to have the chance to <laughs> produce a game-winning drive. Right, so, right, right. how does he win in the public's eyes? Because I think it's too much. Like, he's not a world beater. He will he will never be Mahomes. He will never be Josh Allen, those kind of guys. But he's not a bad quarterback. Like, saying he's a bad quarterback is a bit too much. And he doesn't have to apologize for the team he has. Like, it's he, like it's it's not his it, choice. Yeah, it's gifted to him. So Right? So, Mike, your, yeah. your opinion? I mean, we've been giving this guy a hard time even since last season. And the fact that he's made it this far back-to-back -back seasons uh, he needs some credit plus i mean we know he's mr irrelevant and then uh he's like he said he has all the avengers he has kid well he, hoping that uh devo samuels plays but he got devo he got samuels he got mccaffrey i mean he has he, he has a st uh, stack deck but like like uh, bruno said i mean what else can he do i mean I'm, he's not my he's not my top guy i'm a i'm a lamar fan of course but but what else can he do? I mean, well, he has to show up for this next game to see what... It, I think this will be the decisive game for him. I mean, because there's, like he says, there are naysayers and there are people that are rooting for him. But like I said at the beginning, I mean, he's playing with house money. So I, I, I don't think there's nothing more that he could do than just show up and, and have all these guys play for him. I mean... Yeah, I guess we'll just open up the conversation like more to for everybody just to give their opinion. My opinion is this. He's just in... in he's like... I'm going to try and be consistent. Uh, two episodes ago, maybe last episode, I don't remember, I said that I don't think that Jalen Hurts is as good as most Eagles fans think because he is in the most favorable quarterback uh, position of any of any okay, yeah. of any player. Like his offensive line's elite, his wide receivers are elite, his, even his tight ends elite, and his running backs are very good. So it's the degree of difficulty is way smaller. Well, it's the same thing for Brock Purdy. But I'm just going to stop talking so I can let you guys give your opinions by saying this. I personally think that most people in the media have a problem with Brock Purdy because Brock Purdy is the proof that picking a good quarterback is the most impossible thing to do in all of professional sports. Like, even the guys, like we had this conversation, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence is supposed to be the best quarterback yeah. since fucking Joe Montana. You know what I'm saying? And he's clearly not. He might not even be the best quarterback of his own generation, right? I, I'll, I'll, his own division. Right, exactly. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt for now because he's still young, but, like, it ain't looking good, right? Uh, now Mr. Irrelevant comes in and shows that he's better than a guy that does his own team traded away a couple of first-round picks for. He's already better than Trey Lance. Where the fuck is Trey Lance at? Nowhere to be found, right? He's in, somewhere in Dallas. Uh, yeah, holding a clipboard. Holding the bags for, for You know what I'm deck. saying? So um, it's, it's one of those situations where um, it's – he's never going to get the credit he deserves because he is, he is like – he's like the glaring um, example that the science of judging quarterbacks, of picking quarterbacks – is is like is like winning the lottery. Yeah, it's a coin toss. You it's know. it's so random. Go, go ahead, sorry, Christian. Uh, I know, man. I mean, regarding Brock Purdy, I think we said everything that had to be said. I mean, honestly, I think I don't think he's bad. I just think he doesn't look confident. Or so I'm gonna call you out because literally so. you said I don't think he's good at all. Those were the words <laughs> that you said. I I heard you say it. And out, when of you said four, it I, out of the four, out of the four, the receipts. I could say you know what I'm saying. <laughs> the receipts. Because when you said it, I was like, let me not react until later on. But like to say he's not good at all is really really harsh, though. Don't you think? Not, I mean, come on. I mean, but, do you see the Packers game? Like literally, but, he got bailed out because what two does Packers he have drop? Like, and I mean, what, what do you what what else could you ask for uh, like what else do you ask for him to do so you can go and say okay yeah to complete uh, a slant pass to the running back he's got he's, he's got a wide he's open got a, he can't even throw he's got a hands. pretty good uh, passing completion percentage though he's got a great passer rating like i know he's he, helped by the by the by the roster he has but at the end of the day okay well, i'm going to throw him a bone the one criticism that i could make of him is that he puts the ball in harm's way way too much for someone that doesn't throw that much. Like, okay. he's got a lot of plays, like the examples he's giving, that should be turnovers. 
and he kind of gets bailed out by poor hands by the DB, or his wide receiver is kind of almost playing defense and right. stopping of the DBs. No, okay, of course. So you can give him that criticism, but here's the thing, and, and I'm not saying this against you, I'm just saying in general. I feel like most quarterbacks just do that. Yeah. And, and the elite ones just do it way less than the, the, the non-elite ones or than the average ones, let's just say. So I think, like, Christian is not wrong, but I just think that because he plays for the 49ers, it's, it, you're, you're basically, like, and again, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I'm just saying because you're not the only person that thinks what you think, right? People that agree with Christian, I feel like they're judging him. It, it, on a curve that's way steeper than everybody else. And there aren't that they're, many people that they're like, bro, you, it, it's it's like an expression that people use, like, uh, you were you were, you uh, you were born on third base and you want credit for making it home to home plate. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was drafted onto third base. Right now, he's Mr. Irrelevant, which is why I give him the benefit of the doubt. He still he still had to earn it. It's he's criticized, his yeah. He's yeah. criticized as as if he were the number one pick. And, and that's that's where and there he has was the to last be some pick. balance. He's the last pick of the draft. You have to give him more leeway than you give everyone else because he's not even supposed to be there, bro. Even the 49ers passed on him like six times before they drafted him. <laughs> Bro, and he, okay? like, he came back from injury. <laughs> like, like, literally. Shit. For I mean. but, but just think about what I just said. The 49ers passed on him at least five times. I'm pretty sure it's like six times before they drafted him. So even they didn't want him several times, by the way. You know what I'm saying? And, like, and how many actual bad games he's had? Like, he's, he's had, three. had three. One of them, he was concussed. I, I, and they were all in a row. One it of them, was, it, he was, it was concussed. The, the Cleveland game where the, it was all wet and The other and one, rain, it, it was awful weather in, in Cleveland, and Jim Shorts right. has a There's Kyle Shanahan's number, by the way. Yeah. And, and the Minnesota one that... He was bad in that game. Yeah. yeah. And But, then there's one after that he was bad in so that one, too. So, like one, of them, one, one of them, the opposing defensive coordinator has your head coach's number. And it's Again, bad weather. Right, right, right. Second, of all, oh, second no, no. game... He was horrendous against the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Historically good defense, by the way. Second of all... Uh, second game, he was concussed. So, right. I mean, come on, dude. Like, I'm not saying he's my homes, but right. let's just chill out with the Brock, uh, with the Brock Party slander because right, right, right. I, I really don't think it makes sense. Okay, so I, I'm going to just move on to the next quarterback because we could go on with this yeah, topic yeah, for right. the rest we of the show. We stayed too long with Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah. No, no, not too, not too long. We <laughs> 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 made irrelevant by talking about but him for 20 he, minutes. But he's the most polarizing of all the quarterbacks because he's I'm the right. one that everyone just, just dismisses. Like, oh, he's just... A, He's not a bus driver, he's a passenger. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't even have his license, yeah. according to some people. Like, he's just happy to be on the bus with the rest of the 49ers who are taking him along for the ride. Right. So he's the most disrespected. Nice. I expected him to be the talked about the most. This next quarterback is the most disrespected by someone that's on this panel. Yes, sir. Who shall, shall remain nameless. Oh, you're putting him a third. But we're not talking about Russell Wilson. I thought you were talking about the crappiest Shut quarterback. Up. No, no, no. We're talking oh. about Jared Goff, the oh, third. Oh, okay, okay. My bad. Jared Goff, number three. Um, Jared Goff is better than Brock Purdy. Uh, Jared Goff has been on fire since at least, like, week, like, what, 13, 12? He's been on fire for almost two straight months. Yeah. He's not had a bad game. The last game, he wasn't amazing, but he's not... He's not putting the ball in harm's way. He's not fumbling. He, in my opinion, is one of the worst top 10-ish quarterbacks under pressure. Like, when he's under pressure, it's just not good. Every quarterback is worse under pressure, but he's, like, significantly worse under pressure, which is why I say top 10-ish instead of saying he's a definitely top 10 quarterback. Yeah. If I'm being unbiased, he kind of is a top 10 quarterback because I tried to name... Yeah, there aren't that many, many to pick from before anyway. See, so, see he's huffing yeah. and puffing next to me already. Well, well, so we're going to get to... He huffs and puffs like with 30 out of the 32 I can't, anything, I, can, I can hear you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm kicking it to you because you're breathing so hard <laughs> that you just want to get in there. So just go, go ahead. Do, no, do I mean, thing. come on. I mean, I know I haven't talked, you know, beauties about Jerry Goff. And I actually think that he still has a couple of things that he needs to change. But I said it since like the fourth episode in here. I think the Detroit Lions are the best organized, systematic team right now. And if they can pass through the 49ers, I mean, who can imagine? Maybe they can win it all. I mean, I think Jared Goff has to do exactly what he's doing for the Lions to win. He's doing his mission. He's completing his games, his passes. He's getting them into scoring positions. I can't say anything else. I can't say that I like the way he's been his career. 
I don't think he's one of the best ones, like you said, top 10-ish. But he's doing what he has supposed to, he's supposed to do. He's getting them there. And who knows? Maybe, you know, maybe that Matthew Stafford, Jared Goff trade three years ago will get each of them a, a ring. Let, let me just paint this scenario, right? Out of the four quarterbacks left, only two have been to a Super Bowl. Mahomes and Jared Goff. Now, Jared Goff is, is 2-0 and against Mahomes, right? And one of them was one of the best regular season games ever back in 2018 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, if the Super Bowl is Chiefs versus Lions, at least Goff knows how to beat Mahomes, right? Now, I, I'm, no. I'm not saying he's going to do it. I'm not saying he's going to do it. He beat him in the first week of the NFL. I'm not saying he's going to do it. But I do think uh, Chiefs are a better matchup than the Ravens' defense for Goff. Because Junior's right. When when Goff gets pressured, he panics. And it's not like, oh, I'm going to throw the ball away. It's like, get this off me. And like, I'm allergic to the ball, right? Right. But I do think he has a very well-educated arm. I think he goes through his progressions pretty well. And he's got... A, hell of a, an offensive line, right? So he's not pressured that much. So I think I, I think people disrespect Jared Goff. I agree with Junior. He's a top 10-ish with like another five guys. Like he's a bit above average. But I agree he's the third in the, in the list, right? Yeah, I mean, for me, I think the fact that he was able to succeed uh, in uh, beating the guy that he got traded for, I mean, that already took him to a next level plus they the way they started the season everybody was rooting for them i mean they came from behind and they just been keep going at it from the beginning of the season i thought halfway through it they kind of slowed down but they they picked up steam again so i mean it's any man's game right now kc i had them being knocked out and they made it and they beat uh they beat what you call it uh, at home uh the bills the bills. bills yeah so i mean it's any man's game right now uh again I don't know. I don't know how far he can go, but he's, he made it this far, and he needs to get credit for that at least. And their their team is amazing. I mean, their their O line is amazing. Their defense. I mean, they got a good squad. I don't know if they're gonna be able to make it all the way, but they got a good thing going. So right now, for me, it's like any man's game. But I'm still rooting for the Ravens, of course. Yeah. So for me, Jared <laughs> Goff uh, has a chance to just earn his respect. If he wins this game, to me, I have to say he's a top ten quarterback. For sure. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm gonna say that because of two reasons. One, um, he's he's has he had a losing season in his career? He might have had one. Yeah. Uh, well, before McVay, his record was awful. Yeah, but that was like for one year. Yeah. And, the, and he wasn't and even then a starter the, the whole time. The second year, like the year the, after they lost the Super Bowl to the Patriots, right. he had a losing, losing okay, season. Okay, so for, but for the majority of his career, he's been a winning quarterback. He gets sent to the 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 worst franchise, but like... The Browns exist, though. Right. So <laughs> one of the worst franchises in all of American professional sports. Yeah. So we'll just say yeah, that, sure. right? Just to be fair. <laughs> and they start winning pretty much like right away when he gets there. So to me, you kind of have to respect him because his job is to win, and he does that. He's not spectacular. But I just think that people believe that there are more good quarterbacks than there are. There's not that many good quarterbacks. There's just a couple. There's only a handful of them. So I just think he has a chance to solidify and get more respect. But... Uh, Bro, but he has he has a lot of help though. I mean, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, Gibbs and uh, and uh, Montgomery, my, no. same bro. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna push back. Like... Fuck all that, bro. First of all, Jameer Gibbs White in the first half of the season was literally fucking anonymous. He was like non-existent. Dude, but he showed up when he had to. Look at, get out of here with all this shit, game, bro. bro. His I mean, his can... his skill players are okay. Let me let me just ask you guys a question. St. Brown, yeah, is very good. Everybody else is just okay. And Laporta has been a like a, an exception to right. what a rookie tight end should be, right? Like, like I was, I was, you, you're making me say this. I'm dude, not trying to hate on you, dude. They're rookies, dude. I mean, he just said I think they have the best infrastructure for a quarterback. I think that's bullshit, and I'm only <laughs> saying that because of what you're saying. I'm not saying that they have a bad infrastructure, but to say they have a best, they don't have a better infrastructure than Baltimore. They don't have a better infrastructure than uh, <laughs> what you might call it than uh, the Eagles. They don't have a better infrastructure than like half the teams but, in the playoffs. But I think they have a better culture than the Eagles, for example. I, I'm, that's they want it more. That's where I make the Sirianni difference. Sirianni made like a civil war out of that locker room, 
and everyone's behind Dan Campbell. Like, they would die for Dan Campbell. I'll give Dan Campbell that, that he's a better leader of men, but the, how does that help Jared Goff no, be a better quarterback? Let me though? ask you guys this, because um, Christian said he is not sure he's top 10. We are kind of in between, right? Like, it, he might be. But we compare him to what? To Dak? To he's Kirk better Cousins? Than Dak. He's right? better than Kirk Cousins. To maybe Matt Stafford? I don't know if he's better than Matthew Stafford. No, but that like, might be a that's little too the, far. Like the, the, right. the guys the we compared him to. Right. Well, he's already had a better career than Dak Prescott. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. He's already been to the Super Bowl. He's already been it's to not the even, It's game. not even a question. Like, yeah. And, and Dak Prescott has CeeDee Lamb. And, for yeah. example, Kirk Cousin, he has Justin Jefferson. So every guy like has help, right? Yeah. If you're that middle to above average uh, quarterback, you, you will got, you're going to have help. I just so, hate this narrative that all these lines players are amazing. Get the fuck out of here, bro. No, but they're decent. The whole point is that he has help. I exactly. Mean, they're decent. But, That's but, it. But every quarterback has some kind of help, right? You would think at so. Least, at least the ones Except that are not Josh paid. Allen. At least the ones that are not paid sixty million a year. Right? Except for Josh Allen. Yeah, well. But my whole point is that he had two two rookies that came came in and showed up and helped them get to where they are right now. I mean, not throughout the season, but at least this last game they showed up and allowed him to move on to the next to the next step. That's that's my only point. I mean, I'm still. I agree for, with you on that. I yeah. agree. I agree that the Lions did an exception an exceptional job and like drafting players, but they are not Justin Jefferson's. They're not Christian McCaffrey to Junior's point as well. Right? I just, I just don't have amnesia, bro. I remember <laughs> when people, bro. I'll show you clips where people are saying Jameer Gibbs White is a joke. You get what I'm saying? Now, I think it's ridiculous to say that for a guy who's been in the NFL for like three minutes. Yeah, but like, exactly. it's just funny how critical. recency bias makes us forget what happened in the first like two months of the season. But that's that's what football's all about, bro. It's about making it till the end. Look at look at uh, the Bills. Nobody had them making it this far, and they Whoa. made it. I mean, who's nobody? Well, I mean, <laughs> but I mean, you, it, Hater, it, haters didn't have them making it as far. <laughs> People wow. who know what's going on. Anyways, let's just go to all the right, next quarterback ahead, before on. I get upset. Uh, Lamar Jackson, right? Because clearly of Patrick course. Mahomes is the best quarterback in the world. Uh, I don't really know what to say about Lamar other than... So who's uh, going to be the MVP since he's the best player? Christian McCaffrey. Who should be the MVP? No, no who's Probably going to be? Christian I, McCaffrey. I, who will be the MVP? Lamar, Lamar Jackson. No. Undeserved in my opinion. Wow. Um, I used to be a pretty big Lamar hater. Oh, you used to? You yeah. Uh, you tone it well, down? It changed in the sense that the only thing that you can ask a player to do is get better. And since he won the MVP, you know, once upon a time... To me, he's gotten better. He's a better thrower. He's a better decision maker. Um, and now he has a supporting cast to complement his talents. That being said, he better show up on uh, this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Of Put course. up or no, shut of up. Course. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not going to be enough for the team to win, right? Like, yes, Baltimore should win this game. Uh, their defense is elite. Patrick Mahomes' weapons are the worst that he's had in his career. But he's already shown you that that kind of just doesn't matter. Yeah, playoff time, Mahomes is It just team. doesn't matter, yeah. right? So uh, Lamar's in a situation where he can become – because, bro, think about it. He can go from choker Jackson, which I'm sure he's going to elaborate on in a second, <laughs> to now you got to put him way up in the rankings. How many quarterbacks in NFL history have an MVP and a Super Bowl title? Not, Not that, that many. many. Not that many. There's not that many of those people. So regardless of how ugly it might look sometimes. He gets his, the job done. Because you can't say his team has carried him this far. It's, it's, it's like him and his team. It's like, it's like a marriage of both, right? Because the Baltimore Ravens have been a consistent uh, organization for like almost two straight decades now, right? But they haven't had a good quarterback literally almost this entire time other than Flacco for like 15 minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because Flacco was good for like 15 minutes. Yeah. He wasn't good Only as the Only the postseason where they won the Super Bowl. Exactly. So uh, that being said, uh, that's when it counts, though. Christian, yeah. do your thing. All right. Bring on the hate. Let's, uh, no, it's not hate. It's, it's not exactly. You know, it's, it's, it's not exactly the hate. No one no, that no, 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 got no, no. sit next yeah. to each other. No, 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 I'm saying it's just his opinion. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to say this. I have never changed the way I think about Lamar, I will say this. Obviously, they look like the team to beat, wow. like to win the Super Bowl. You hearing this? That defense is obviously out of this world. Wow. That I will not discuss at all. That's clear. 
However, this is the thing with Lamar that it, it just, in my head, it doesn't change who he is. If you actually see, before this season, Lamar was the guy that had two rushing touchdowns, two throwing touchdowns, probably the biggest rusher in the team, probably, obviously, the passer of the team. And he pretty much did everything, which got him to a point where he was he couldn't give enough. That, that he, it would be to that point. If you see... I don't know, let's say regular season Lamar Jackson this year. I remember doing the videos for three touchdown games, four touchdown games. I think it was even one five touchdown game where he actually passed the ball. If you see the game that they just played against the Texans, they were 10-10 at the half before Lamar took control of that game. Yeah, yeah. And brought in two rushing touchdowns and threw for another one. But let me remind you what happens when Lamar has to do everything. They don't win shit. They but don't get to the, the point. Wait. So if you see the last game from Lamar, I can tell you this. Andy Reid is going to eat him alive if he has to take control of this Chiefs game. If he wants to go back to throwing four touchdowns or five touchdowns in the game, I can tell you Lamar can go get through the Chiefs and get to the Super Bowl and probably win it. But if Lamar goes to all Lamar, where he has two rushing touchdowns and two passing touchdowns, and no one in the team has more than 60 yards for whatever, rushing or receiving, Andy Reid is not going to let him pass. Andy Reid is going to stop him cold, and probably Mahomes is going to beat him again. If he stays on that, if he goes back to season Lamar, where he can count on his receivers, he'll stay in the pocket and pass the ball around, he can make it through. But if he has to be the one running, if he has to want to be passing, I mean, he's going to be like the box Bunny cartoon where he passes the ball, he catches the ball, he <laughs> no, runs the but, ball in. But that, that's the point, Christian. Like, he doesn't need to do everything now because they have a historically good defense, a great defensive coordinator who's not, not going to be there next year. Because Until he's get he a head right. took control of the game, Houston had him 10-10 at the half. He had to take control but of that game. But they were 10-10 because the special teams allowed a punt return touchdown. The the Ravens cannot run the no, no, ball. No, no, you had your time. You had your time. Go ahead. Like, <laughs> he doesn't need to do everything. They have one of the best safeties in the game in Kyle Hamilton. They have a good pass rush. They have probably the best duo of linebackers in, in football right that, now. There's not even a question. Like, no, actually, San Francisco. Oh, yeah. And, so if, them and if, you, if you allow me, my New York Jets have a couple good, very good linebackers. But yeah, oh, no, that's no. neither here nor there. Yeah, no. So, no, it's not. Yeah. No. <laughs> not even close. It's it's nowhere near. It's not here. It's not here. Just one my It's not anywhere. It's not here, there, or anywhere. <laughs> so, so he doesn't need to be Superman. He is throwing the ball well. He's He, he now has two great tight ends. Because Mark Andrews is back and he's Isaiah Likely is a yep, beast. Yep. He, he's he got a, like a secure blanket in, in Zay Flowers. He's got OBJ who's uh, used to big games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a good protection. So uh, he doesn't need to be Superman. He just needs to be himself. Yes. And when he's himself, he's one of the most unpredictable, tough matchups for any defense. And I think Steve Spagnuolo is a great defensive coordinator. But... When when you got the double threat that Lamar Jackson represents, I think it's very tough to to just stop him. But wait, how many reasons he might, have might, been might, a double threat? Don't don't forget what you're about to say, Mike. Go ahead. All I'm going to say is, my man, Lamar Demetrius Jackson <laughs> Jr. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yes, <laughs> made history on his last game. Two passing touchdowns. Two rushing touchdowns, 100% passing rating, 100, 100, 100, uh, 100 rushing yards, uh, 100 passing yards. How can you imagine that from Lamar? It's unbelievable, right? Bro. Finish your point. <clears throat> All I'm saying is, dude, it's, it's about showing up to the big games. This this was a big game, and all he has to do is show up to the next big game. And OBJ, like he like you just said, OBJ hasn't done much all season, but he has to do what he did for the for the LA Rams, bro. He just has to show up, do one big play, catch one big ball, flowers, and all these other guys give him a, a big push, and that's it. We'll move on to the next and show up to the to the Super Bowl, and that's it. That's all I gotta say. Lamar all the way. All right, you sound like a fan, so I'm going to just say this. <laughs> so uh, you want me to be objective? He sounds like a groupie. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Not even a fan. It's I, like I a literally groupie. stopped listening halfway through what he was saying. So to touch, <laughs> on what Christian, touch on what Christian was saying. Christian's not all the way wrong. Um, 
If Lamar feels like Lamar has to do everything to win, they cannot win that game. They can't. It has to be like he's comfortable enough with the system, with his receivers, with what, like he has to have trust in everybody else. Because this, this narrative that like, He's a choker. While I think it's gone too far in in the wrong direction, it ain't wrong. He's just worse in the playoffs than he is in the regular season. To even deny that is like kind of ridiculous. Bro, but his game has evolved, bro. I mean, he stays okay, longer in the pocket. But, he's not running every ball. I, I mean, I said that already. He's 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 gotten better every single. I literally started by saying he's gotten better, but every but, single season. But he's but, never had this this type defense. of talent. Yeah. And this talent around him. Right. That being said, it's. All set up for him to go to the next round because his team is better than the Chiefs. Thank you. Patrick Mahomes is clearly much better though than him. But le- yes. yes, he has to kind of he has to be the the bridge to like okay, I'm gonna negate enough of what Mahomes does for the rest of my players to help me get this across the line. But it's gonna be a mad. But tough yeah, game l- let me ask something to the Lamar hate club right there. But yes. I don't hate Lamar. Not at all. Do. I do. So go on, bring he, it on. If he I loses do. to Patrick Mahomes, is it really like oh he choked? No, because, because it's Patrick. Uh, hold on. Mahomes. But, but I'm, I just want to reply to what you're saying. I've had to make a conscious effort since uh, Sunday night <laughs> to not reply to all the people online that I see saying Josh Allen sucks. Exactly. Even today, I just saw someone saying uh, how terrible he is. And the only thing that I could reply, which I didn't, but I want to reply is, unless you're replacing him with Patrick Mahomes, who's better than he is that you're going to go like, oh, I'm going to take this guy and put him in, and now the problems that Josh Allen presents are gonna stop. like even uh, Josh like Josh Allen's a stud, bro. So so you know you know the biggest complaint about Josh Allen haters because I got a bunch of people from Buffalo that I I go back and forth with all the time. We're cool, but they're like, oh, you're giving him a pass for uh, not throwing to Diggs in the last drive when Diggs was running a crossing around and he was wide open. He tried to go into the end zone and hit a home run ball. But you know what? In my opinion, you know he did that. If the Buffalo Bills actually made that field goal, Patrick Mahomes is just going to drive, drive down yeah. the other minute side. Minute 40. Yeah. A minute 40, he's, he did it in 13 30. seconds against them. He's not going to do it in a minute 40. So if you're Josh Allen, you're like, if I don't score a touchdown here, we're going to fucking lose. So I, I'm not saying he's right for doing that, but I'm saying that was probably what he was thinking in his head. Yeah, right? plus if Stefan doesn't drop that ball, we'd be talking about it. It would be a whole different yeah, Which game is too. why I earlier took a shot at, 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 uh, Josh, uh, at Stefan Diggs by saying Josh Allen has no help. Because Stefan and his brother want to be fucking talking shit. Oh, come save me. Oh, how long are we going to let this guy keep us? Whatever the fuck they be saying. <laughs> and then you're going to drop a 65-yard touchdown yeah. in the biggest game probably of your career? Yeah, Hold let me, that. Let me, let me ask changer. you this to see if we can maybe get in the same okay. ground. And then we're going to move on to Patrick Mahomes. Right, of course. My homie. We all know that Dak is garbage. Because he has in one Gar- shape, Garbage right? is a lot. Well, okay. Yeah, garbage is too strong. You see, you're doing that thing. He, you he, sound he, like you're like him. You guys talk like fans. No, we, no, no. But let, okay. We do this for a living. No, no, but let me let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. <laughs> it's crazy. We see, for example, this season fan. for Dak Prescott, and somehow we kind of, you know, get him a little bit high, and you're like, oh, maybe this is it, whatever. Then he comes to the playoffs, loses to the seventh seed, and we're all like, oh, yeah, that's the Cowboys and Dak. If you see Josh Allen this and was the Bills, his year, though. you obviously say the same thing. Oh, Josh is probably going to do it this time. They had a great uh, couple of games. They moved it into the next round to the Chiefs, but he lost again to the Chiefs because of the kicker or whatever. So you put him back where he's supposed to be. Lamar, every, everybody's talking the same thing about Lamar. If Lamar loses to the Chiefs, he'll go back to where he is. He'll have his MVP. He'll have his season full stats. But he's not going to win that ring. And that will keep I'm gonna him where he is. I'm going to let you answer. I just have to say one thing. <laughs> the reason why I'm criticizing what you're saying is because you sound like the people that we argue with all the time on social media. If you're putting Josh well, Allen back to where he's supposed to be, where is that? <laughs> the the, sec- the yeah. second or third best quarterback <laughs> yeah, in the league? Exactly. Yeah. Like, okay, okay but, but, but guys. Like, and unlike Dak, Dak but, dropped the ball. I mean, he didn't, he didn't do it. He didn't but, get the but job done. But what I'm done. trying to say is, like, 
if we're shitting on the second and third best quarterbacks, then every quarterback sucks, bro. I know. If, if, I'm losing, not, if it, losing to Patrick Mahomes on, is, 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 is a bad thing for you, well, every, everybody's screwed. Because uh, unless you're Tom on. Brady, you're yeah. not winning against Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs. There's got to be a level yeah. of sanity where but we're yeah. like, Josh well, Allen has come close, and every time he loses, he loses to the best player. Exactly. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? It, like if okay, he lost he's, to he's levels away. Jordan Love, it's one thing. For example, okay. Christian, because I don't want you to feel like we're ganging up on you, because because it's not about that. Well, but like, are. look, <laughs> the, the Chiefs only punted one time. How is that Josh Allen's fault? Yeah. They only had they only had five third downs. Okay. That's like they were moving the chains as they wanted, as they pleased. It, it was it's it's come on, man. Like okay, no, no, no. But they, they couldn't even blitz Mahomes. Okay, bro, no, I but mean, let's put it this way. We all knew that when. Josh Allen lost that game. The only thing right now in the Bills' head is for next year, how the hell do we beat Mahomes, right? But that's the NFL's thought, not only okay. the Bills. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, again, and, and this is the only thing that I'm saying. If Lamar doesn't make it through this year and gets the ring, I don't see how much of a difference he made when, yeah, he fooled the game out of stats, he has a great season, he probably will win his second MVP, but it's not going to be enough. So, but I can't say that he's not playing yourself, good. Buddy. I'm not saying that he's not playing good. I'm saying it's not enough to get him there. So, if you want to change something in the team, when you have changed receivers, when you have changed uh, the defense, and now it's an awesome defense, and you have changed running backs because they have like five running backs this season, and they still can make it, I can't see how Lamar and his style of play is not the issue. Yo, can you finish this? I'm going to let you, because you've been trying to get the last word for like five minutes. So just end this subject, please. No, I'm just saying, like, losing to Patrick Mahomes in a close game or a shootout, it's not uh, an insult to Lamar's season. And I agree with you, like, honestly. If, if he has a blunder and he throws two interceptions and a fumble, then I can go and say, okay, yeah. Right. Maybe, this, maybe, maybe the lights were too bright. And by the way, yeah. it is very possible he cost them the game. That is very yeah, possible. Yeah, but you can also say, well... Uh, Baker Mayfield cost the Buccaneers the game they lost. But he was trying to make a play in a game-winning drive where they needed eight points. Like, at some point in the game, you need to take risks because otherwise you're going home. So if, if, if he throws a pick in the last drive trying to win the game and it's a great play by the defense, yeah, I'm not going to hold read, it. Actually. I'm yeah. not going to hold it against Lamar. However, if he does any of the foolishness that we've seen him do in the playoffs that's in the past... Risk, yeah. He's gonna get destroyed, and if, he and he deserves yeah. to get destroyed. No, if, if that's the case, if he if he if he looks nervous, if he doesn't make the right plays, exactly, if he deserves scared, to get destroyed, then for he that. deserves all what's coming. So, to him. I'll say this: uh, the only point that Christian made that I will say that I completely disagree <laughs> is. Baltimore, in my opinion, made the right decision re-signing Lamar. Of course. Of if course. they didn't re-sign Lamar, they'd be at home watching the playoffs. Yeah, they re-signed Lamar, and they're in the Final Four. So to me, that was like a no-brainer. It, it wasn't a no-brainer for them, because they they made his ass wait yeah, and wait. A lot of guaranteed money. Yeah, but just and making wait. it this far, they're going to return their investment right away, because they didn't know if it's going to oh, be worth it. No, no, because well, the investment is a Super Bowl. Yeah, they exactly. have to win a Super Bowl. Yeah. They have to but win the he ring. has all the contract to win a Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. now, again, cr again, because cr we can't be ganging up a Christian and saying everything he's, he's saying is wrong. Christian is right. If Lamar no. does not win a Super Bowl, it's a failure. It's, it's a failure. Again, he has to win a Super Bowl. Yeah. Everything is in his favor to win a Super Bowl. He has a better supporting cast than Joe Flacco had. He <laughs> should do better than Joe Flacco. He, he, he just should. He so, has the best difference in the league getting him the ball. If he can't make it, yeah, but my homie's I, a handful though. So no, no, that's not the, the, no excuses. No excuses. No, he has to win. No, I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for him. But he needs to win. He needs to win. But if he loses and he's it's not, not on embarrassing, him, exactly. as long exactly. as as long as, as, long as he, he shows didn't up. fuck it, it up, it doesn't stain yeah. him. Yeah. Unless so he fucks so it up. that being said, let's end the show by talking about the best quarterback in the world, and I'll be super brief so you guys can all get your thoughts in. Is it Russell Wilson? If. Uh, Patrick Mahomes wins a Super Bowl. Oh my God. You want to sign T-shirt or something? <laughs> yeah. So if Patrick Mahomes wins a Super Bowl, he's the greatest quarterback of all time. He's the best NFL player of all time. I disagree. He's better than Tom Brady. He's better than Joe Montana. Oh, slow down. He's better than all of them. All Pump. of them. Pump better the than brakes, all of dude. them. Pump the brakes. All of them. Wow. <laughs> and this is why I'm going to say this. Number one, he's a much better thrower than Tom Brady is. 
He's a much better athlete than Tom Brady is. His team this year is similar to the to what Brady had to go through where Brady's teams like his offense around him kept regressing, but he kept finding a way. This we talk about who's the the worst quarterback to the best quarterback. His group of receivers are the worst in the entire playoffs. It's like not even close. They're horrendous. Right? Crazy his offensive line is okay. Thing. His running backs are okay. His tight end is an all time great. Of course. Mm-hmm. Okay? He's working goddamn magic. He's fucking Harry Potter. He's goddamn uh what's this idiot that that was in the the cold uh day? He's David Blaine. Oh he's, my. <laughs> he's he's fucking Chris Mindfreak. He's all these guys. David yeah, Blaine yeah, catching yeah. strays. Right? Bro, I was watching I was watching that game on the weekend and I was like, "You know what? Buffalo finally has these guys exactly where they want them. In Buffalo, crazy crowd. It's much colder than Kansas City. He's never been in this environment and he kept fucking making plays. Yeah. He kept ma- I I mentioned Josh Allen, you know, tried to swing for the home run by not passing it to Diggs. And passing, passing it to, I think it was Shak- Shakir. Shakir. Yeah. I don't want to say Mahomes makes that throw because I think Josh Allen's arm is almost as good as Mahomes, but Mahomes probably fucking makes that throw. He yeah. really probably does yeah. because he just does. He just gets the fucking job bro, done. Bro, you can see all his years as a pitcher show up when he's playing football, bro, because some of the throws that he makes are it's unbelievable. unbelievable. He already has as many playoff wins as Tom Brady already. And he's if Tom Brady plays until forty, Mahomes is gonna play until forty. Because again, he's a better athlete than Tom Brady is. It's just, his father was a professional baseball player, right? He's got the genes. So that's my my spiel. I hate saying it because two years ago I was like everybody that's you know glazing, as the kids want to say, everyone that's been glazing. glazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been listening to my nephews and nieces. They was talking about, yo, stop glazing him, bro. So anyways, yeah, all these people that have been glazing Mahomes, I've been saying. Calm down, bro. He can't be better than Tom Brady already. Mm. But it's not stopping. He's gonna, just nothing can stop this guy. It's get it's like getting on my nerves almost. Like I'm I don't gonna, have, I'm gonna let Christian go. Yeah. But no, yeah. why don't you jump in? Yeah, go jump ahead. in, jump go in. Go ahead. Just Look, do it. Um there's for me there's just no way unless he wins like ten Super Bowls, I will put him above. See? Tom Brady. And let me, but let, yeah, but let me explain. I'm glad I used the word glazing because that no, was a. Let, let, <laughs> me explain, let, let me explain. To, let me let this me try was, and, and usually prove that Junior, point. Junior and I look eye to eye. All right, but this is this is like Krispy Kreme level glazing going no, on here. Go ahead. Just I like head to head and I like resumes. Okay. Who doesn't like head? And, oh, well, true that, but that, <laughs> that's for another show. Um, Arrowhead, 2018, 5,000 yards, Patrick Mahomes, 50 touchdowns, MVP. Tom mm-hmm. Brady comes to Arrowhead, beats him in overtime. Super Bowl, then uh, Kansas City versus Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, COVID year. Tom Brady puts a beating on those Chiefs, and if Tom Brady wanted to put 60 on those Chiefs, he would have. He just didn't need to. But here's what oh, I think. I... But, but here's what I think makes it like a non-debate until Mahomes really has like 10 Super Bowls. That was a 44-year-old Tom Brady with no ACL right. on a new team who he didn't even know because it was COVID year, so they didn't have training camps or uh, training for that matter. Right. So he had to develop chemistry mid-season. Mm-hmm. 44-year-old with an agent to- uh, Gronkowski. That's, by the way, also why I think Gronkowski will never be surpassed by Travis Kelsey because he put two toddies on that game. Um, so he had, like Mahomes had, a whole culture and team established around him Tom Brady was like well I don't know these guys until like week 9 right and I'm 44 year old and my knee is absolutely blown and I'm still playing right and he went there and he put the beating of a lifetime because no one blows out my homes except for Tom Brady so at the end of the day if they both end with seven Super Bowls I will go back to the head to head and and I will say prime Patrick Mahomes got beat by one leg 44 year old Tom Brady in a new team, in a new culture, in a new culture with a bad offensive coordinator in, like in Baron Leftwich. So I will agree Patrick Mahomes is by far the best quarterback right, right. now. I don't I don't see a scenario unless he wins like 10 Super Bowls right. where I put him above Tom Brady. Okay, so you told one small little white lie. Not a big lie, but a small lie. Patrick Mahomes is not in his prime when he played against Tom Brady. Patrick Mahomes is like he was a, already an MVP, five thousand yard, fifty touchdown season. He's still a kid. He's still a kid Come at on. that time. He, he, the other guy was a grandpa. 
Right. So what, what I'm, I'm saying gonna, is, I'm gonna let you finish. Talking, what do you want? Talking. What do you prefer? A 24 year old athlete or a 44 year old one leg grandpa? Right. But I'm saying in it, quarterback but... terms, no quarterback is in their prime in their second season or third season. What was it second season that was or his third season? Third, third yeah. max, right? It was its fourth. Third as a starter. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's you, you. You've had enough, and you already had one Super Bowl, by the way. So I I don't disagree on. with what you said. I just just a little. Mike, go ahead. Actually, no, 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 Christian, Christian. Yeah, because Christian right, was right. huffing and puffing. Know, yeah. Let him, let him reply. I'm, I'm gonna try to be quick with all the things that I have to say with what you said, because I like this. I, 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 I had a little bit of a right. hit. To make an insane take, let, 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 let me start by saying this. I can promise you, after all the years that Tom Brady actually played and what he did, dude, when he was forty something and he beat Mahomes, he was definitely by experience the best quarterback ever. So. I mean, him with a bad leg or whatever on a new team, come on, it's Tom Brady. With the, let's not forget that That's to begin fair. with. Wait, let's not forget that to begin with. Now, if you want to compare the Chiefs, Andy Reid, and Mahomes to something, it's got to be Belichick, the Patriots, and Brady. The, it's the same thing. They have the worst receiver crew, some kind of a good defense with a decent some kind. running back. They were top three. Okay. But you know the Chiefs, nobody took, uh, thought the Chiefs were going to get anywhere this year. Just like when Tom Brady was with Dion Branch as a receiver or whatever, you, you can never count them out. And Mahomes is proving that right now. They cannot count them out. When you talk about the Super Bowl with the Buccaneers, man, let me tell you this. Mahomes was throwing passes sideways to the ground. And Hill got that ball literally to his helmet and couldn't okay. catch it. If you want to blame Mahomes because his receivers suck or didn't do the game, I cannot blame him. I don't blame him. But I got to be completely, I mean, agree with Junior in this thing. If Mahomes beats the Ravens, if Mahomes gets this Super Bowl, I can promise you he'll have seven like Brady by the end of his career. And I can promise you a 42-year-old Mahomes with a broken leg will probably beat a CJ Stroud on his second year on a Super Bowl. And you know what start CJ CJ Stroud is trying to be right now. So if you compare the like the experience of Brady when he was 44 on the Super Bowl with the Bucks beating the two three year rookie that already has a rookie? Super Bowl, <laughs> dude, he's a he's a third he year starter. He was an MVP Super Bowl champion. Hold on, okay, dude, Mike. but he's a three year uh, starter. I mean, like you. Right, go ahead, go ahead, go no, ahead. No, no, let's get Mike's opinion. Oh. No, no. I mean, the, the, what, these, the, the, what these two guys had to say, I'm not going to argue. I don't care I mean, what they I'm had not, to say. What's I'm, your opinion of Patrick Mahomes? What's your take? Bro, Lamar Jackson all the way. I don't care about Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes is a stud. I mean, he's a man. I mean, he can do a lot of stuff by himself. He has a fucking huge arm. And like Christian said, he can shoot off balance. I mean, I'm talking about like basketball terms. But, I mean... He's so elusive. I mean, when they tried to blitz him in the last game, they couldn't get to him. He was falling down and still throwing bullets. So, I mean, he's a tough guy to get by. But I don't know. I I, I can't really have an objective opinion about him. I mean, he's the only guy that's going to give – stand in the way of Lamar Jackson getting his ring. Oh, that's, that's where you're goal. very wrong because the 49ers aren't dead. The 49ers still exist. And the 49ers are better than the Ravens and they're better than the Lions. But that's a whole other show and a whole other conversation. I don't know if you guys have any final thoughts on Patrick Mahomes. I will concede this. If he wins this Super Bowl, is he already better than Brady? No. I'm projecting that if he wins another one already, I've already seen enough that unless he has a catastrophic like Alex Smith type injury, as long as he can walk and breathe, he's going to win more championships and continue to oh, be a problem for, sure. for the NFL. That's for sure. It just is. He is. Now, I think there's going to be a period where the Chiefs suck because they pay him and Kelsey so much money that, the, you know, there's guys going to start leaving in free agency. There's not enough money to go around. That's kind of why the receivers all suck right now. But that's only going to be like a blip. It's, it's going to be like, okay, we're, we suck now, but we're going to get a couple pieces. As long as you can protect this guy and he can stand up straight – he can beat almost anybody. And to reply to and to, to your point, I mean, his window of opportunity is way bigger than Lamar's. I mean, Lamar is on a win oh, yeah. right now uh, window where he can 
even if he doesn't make if it, uh, my homie doesn't make it now, he has a whole future ahead of him where he's gonna get multiple rings. Why? So. Is, how do you think Lamar is? How does Lamar? No, but I'm saying no, like I'm, I'm saying that. Yeah, bro, he's like yeah. Yeah, but, but I'm old. saying that the window of opportunity might not be might not be as big for uh, Lamar coming uh, for, uh, like moving forward. Moving yeah. forward well, there, there's as, one as, very specific reason why you think that because he is nowhere close to Patrick Mahomes. He's not even yeah, in, yeah. in the same planet as Patrick Mahomes. I'm just saying that you the level I'm that saying? he's playing, the 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 the, the level, the, comp, the the help that he has, and the way he's playing right now. I mean, he's on a win right now mode where we don't know if he's going to be able to sustain that that level of game later on in his career. Yeah, as what, good as he might be, I don't. I don't. I'm going to just go ahead and say no. <laughs> there no, you man, go. When, when Lamar that's my no. point. when Lamar loses his explosiveness, it's going to be a very very it's gonna be serious very problem. Tough. It's yeah. going to be no disrespect, kind of like how people try to disrespect Russell Wilson. Of course, because Russell Wilson is still a good quarterback. Yeah, but because he's not as good as he was in Seattle, people disrespect him. But you know Mahomes, what I'm saying? if you have a 36 year old Mahomes, he can just stand in the pocket and still lit that's, up any any team. Yeah, right? that's that's, so that's yes. to Mike's point. That's that's what he, I well, think. Exactly. He's yeah, to but say. let me tell you, for example, one last thing that of what you said. For example, when you said that if Mahomes gets. Ten rings, for example, that you still wouldn't consider him no. better than ten Brady. rings. I can. I but can why have ten? Discussion. Why well, not no. seven? Exactly. Because seven, the head-to-head -head matters for me. Well, no, but let me nah. tell you this: if Mahomes gets to seven, for example, I cannot take away the fact that he got uh, Brady had the talk rule. He was given one Dude, by the no, Seattle no, don't, Seahawks, no. and then yeah, he no, was no, given no, one no, by the Falcons. No, 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 we're, not, we're not allowing this. Come oh, on, no, 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 no. And I, I hate Brady. I hate the play. Patriots, but there's a flag on the play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Flag on Please. the play. Please. Go on. No, no, and, no. And, and, and Christian, this is why I, I'm, I don't think you're wrong for saying it, but the reason why that's an invalid argument, and that's an argument I used to use, that team was dominant for like 20 years. Yeah. Well, no, like, no, I, I, yeah. Do, I know. 20 but, years, And the Chiefs have been helped... If you want to put it like that, last Super Bowl, bro, With last the Super Bowl, call, last the Super Bowl, the game. hold on, so last you Super Bowl, those... last AFC Championship For game, yeah, exactly, last so, a lot of things. I, I, I didn't take that things. into consideration. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but be listen, honest. go Lions. Thank you guys. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed this conversation, Bruno. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, please make sure you check out the NFL show. Season's winding down. Uh, the guys are giving out amazing knowledge, helping you make money and not lose money, which is the exact same thing as making money, in case you weren't aware of that. <laughs> Super Bowl tickets, bro. Hell oh yeah. Oh my God, yo. Please check out our social media pages. We're giving away two Super Bowl tickets. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Love y'all. Peace. Peace. See y'all.